Hi YouTubers, uh, John Nunes back again with another short video. I wanted to show you a tool that I made. Um, I, I kind of copied a design off of another guy that did it off the internet. Uh, really liked the design uh, and I just kind of added a little bit to it. Uh, it made it a little bit more versatile. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this is a uh, tapping tool that you can use on your lathe. Uh, it works really well and I hope you uh, like it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, um, what you can see here is uh, this is the uh, this is the tool itself right here, and uh, what I did was I uh, I made this so if you if you notice the shaft here, I've got this chucked up in my tailstock. And what this thing does is it slides on just like this so it can spin like so and then on the end of it it's cut out so it accepts a die the little set screw and you can slide this on you can chuck up your your rod or whatever you have in your chuck over here and lock your your chuck down and then you just run your tailstock up to it and you you can start threading and it's very effective. It works very well. It gives you nice straight uh, threads. There's no chance of them walking off to the side uh, uh, and getting crooked. Um, it works really well, and I really liked it. The one thing that I did do extra was I um, made this little insert. And what this does is I have a tap little tapping machine, uh, and these are the little tool holder for the tapping machine so I what I do is I I made this little adapter to go right in like that and then you take your uh, your Allen if I can find it here and you just tighten your Allen up and then you can utilize this not only for your dies but your taps too and this slides in here and locks in just like so so you can put this on here like this and now you can chuck up, I don't know if you can see it, but you can chuck up a piece of like your round stock that you wanna you wanna tap, and you can just run this all the way in and get your carriage out of the way here. Like so. And you can run this all the way in, lock your tail stock down, and then you can just run this up, and then you can go ahead and do your threading. Well, you gotta lock your, you gotta lock your, lock your chuck in first, though. Like, just like so. And uh, and then you don't have to worry about your tailstock moving your tailstock in and out because this is on a, this is on a, whoops, this is on a slider. And uh, so you just as you tap, as you tap in. It will just follow it right in to the uh, to the the work that you're doing. So, just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I was really impressed with the design, and uh, I use it a lot actually. So it's one of those tools that doesn't sit in your box, uh, you know, day in and day out. You you periodically use it, and it, it it's really nice when you can take a tool that you made and use it periodically. Uh, it's a little more fulfilling. Than it is when you make something that you think you're going to use and it sits in your box and you never use it so just wanted to share that with you i uh, hope you like it and uh we'll see you next time bye bye